So, Baruch Hashem, today we're going to discuss something about tefillah, prayer, which is uh, very, very important. And that is, if you look in the Torah, all the, the, these following up parshiot that's speaking about that, they were screaming, Vayizak el Hashem, Vayizaku, they screamed to Hashem, Vayizak, Vayizak, and all these screaming to Hashem. So, what's going on over here? So the answer is, part of tefillah is begging Hashem for mercy. You know, when you ask for something, then there's two ways of asking. You can just go ask, and oh, by the way, uh, can I have this? Can I have that? No problem. No problem. And then there's another way of just begging Hashem, like, like knocking down the door to the Borei Olam and saying, Hashem, please, we need, we need this. The Pasuk says, Nisala Venu El Kapayim. What does that mean? It's a message Danit. It says, well, it speaks about over there. You're supposed to have kapana that you, you put your heart in your hand. That's what the Lashon is. You put your heart in your hand. Nisalavo el kapai. That's the that's the pasuk. It says, what does that mean? Carry your heart in your hand. Like what's going? On? It means to have kapana. Now, what, what what is it? It's a part of tefillah that a person in his lifetime he has to understand. He's praying tefillah three times a day, right? Every single day of his life. So you might as well understand the situation is the more it says What does it mean The shard of, of tears did not, did not close. What does that mean? It means that it's again, it's all part of begging Hashem to get answer for your tefillah. And if you do do that, if you pray like that, your tefillah is, is powerful. It says Bekadbi u Bekashti. By Yaakov Abinu, it says, in Parashat I believe it says, uh, the, the, there's Oglus over here, Tegmiyot Ano Oglus says that, what does it mean? Becharbi, Bitzloti, What does that mean? Every day, by the Amidah, we finish it, we, the Hazan says a Kaddish. And this Kaddish is, Tetkabal Tzalotana. What does it mean, Tetkabal Tzalotana, Uva'otana? There's Tzla, there's Tefillah, and there's Ba'u. Is, is, is it Tzla? The Tegabal Tzlotana is the, the regular main prayer that everybody has. And the Ba'utana is the prayer that you make on your own from your heart. Where you're coming and you're begging Hashem, you're knocking down the door, Hashem, please, I need your help with that. And, and, and that's, that's, that's the way we're supposed to pray. You want something from Barola? Beg! Beg! And when you beg, and when you beg, and you plead, it's a different type of tefillah entirely. And that's exactly what was going on in Egypt. What are they saying? Hashem says, I hear their screaming, I hear their cries, I hear their begging. Okay, now you're going to get saved. This is a great lesson that we have to learn in our tefillah. Don't just pray. Yeah, of course pray. But now the things that you want, every, everything, the prayer that you want, put more effort into it in begging Hashem. He's right there. He'll do it. He doesn't mind. He has everything. Is everything in the world? What do you have to do? We have to, we have to, we have to uplift our our tefillah. We have to take it to the next level. Like the Gemara says in Masechet Tanit, the Sala of Eno Kapayim. What does that mean? Put your heart in your hand. Meaning, pray with Kavana. Pray with your depths of your heart. Go deep down, dig, and pray with your depth of your heart. And like that, already you, 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 you the Shemaim already there. Wow! It's even brought down in Masechet Chagiga. It says there's a ah, there's a brought down over there. That he makes in the second panic of Hagiga, I don't want to say his name, this Malach, he makes from every tefillah, called Tzaddik bin Tzaddik when he prays, he makes a crown and he throws it on the Hashem. Like he's crowning your, your tefillah. And then you, you, want, you want your crown, you want your tefillah to be crowned by this. By, by, so, therefore, we always need a hezuk of tefillah. But this is a hezuk that we're telling you here today. That what? All the times you see in the in, in the, the, the Mitzrayim, they're begging, screaming, screaming, because they're pleading with Hashem, they're begging Hashem. This is what we have to do. We want something from Hashem? Beg, beg, beg. And Hashem will all get answers of all our tefillah that we're going to say to Him.